this is Saro. In this video, we will learn how to create app that can read deleted WhatsApp messages and we will create this app using MIT App Inventor. Okay, so let me show you the demo of this app first, then we will create this app. So let me open this app, okay, read message and you can see nothing here. Now let me just click on chat button. Service does not have been started, so click on the start button to allow this notification service, allow this and go back. Okay, and then recheck. Service already has been started. Great. Okay, now uh, this app will work in the background also. So you don't need to open uh, this app always. So you can close this app. Okay, and now what I will do, I'm going to open my WhatsApp and send some message to someone in my another WhatsApp. So you can see, hello, sir. So I'm going to send hello, hello, Rudra. Okay, this message app, uh, let me send it. Now what I will do here. I received this message here okay but I'm not going to open suppose uh, uh, what I will do immediately in the another whatsapp I will delete this message delete for everyone it's so like this message deleted now open another whatsapp and you can see this message was deleted so what that message is okay so what I will do close this and open whatsapp here and you can see that click on that cat and you can see the in the top hello rudra in the first so here we go so we are using your mit app inventor so click on the start new project and my project name is read message whatsapp wh okay so that's my first screen now i need your one layout click on layout and that is, that is horizontal layout and we need to click on make it with this fill parent like this okay and we need to drag and drop your four buttons and then copy and paste okay so in the first button i will just say text start and make this background color custom and i have some color code so i will use this color code okay and then just copy paste it here done and then the text color i'm going to use here white and make it font bold make it font size it at least 18 okay like this fine now what i will do here just copy paste this four times and just change that text start then check then third one is our get and the fourth one is close like this okay and in that horizontal arrangement i'm going to make this vertical line center and the horizontal is also center like this now i'm going to change that uh, horizontal arrangement background color to also custom and already have that one more color go to the mit app inventor paste it here like this and done and i will do the same for this screen design also it means let me just change that screen background color also so that is background color go to the custom and then change color okay fine now we need one label okay this one and change that text color to white and make it at least 16 like this and remove that text from here okay and make this one with this fill parent like this now we need to drag and drop one storage tiny dv this one drag and drop it here because we have to store our all notification or all whatsapp messages here and the second thing we need for more thing is extension okay so for that we need to download this extension so just type here notification listener extension okay and just this one notification this one uh no okay and we need to download this extension i will give you the link of this extension okay in the description we need to download your aix file from you so this one is ax file download this after downloading this file click on extension import extension and drag and drop this extension here and import it and now drag and drop this extension here fine now we need to go to the block section so whenever a screen will in a slice okay a screen will in a slice then we have to set 
one tag tinydb and you will find set tinydb namespace okay and that namespace is default this name is default namespace okay and that name is this one typhoon notification listener okay I will give you this text in the description and if you want to change that text so for that you have to modify that extension okay now whenever go to the design whenever someone click on that start button okay it means button one so click on button one and whenever someone click on that then we have to call here click on that notification here you can see call start uh, notification listener start service call it here okay and then in the second thing we have to check in the third button it means first is the start then second one is check button it means button 2 so on that button to click so we have to check service okay so what we will do we will check so click on that extension again and you can see the call check service so we will use your if else condition to check this if okay so if the notification check service if the service is the start it means if it is checked then this will display in that label you can see the label one so we will display all text here set label text on and we will display some text here if the service is started then we will just say the service service already has been started right and if the has been sorry and if the service is not started, then we will just simply say here does not have been started. Right? Simple. Right? Now, now this is uh, for second button. For the third button, in this this button, here you can see in that we have to get all our deleted WhatsApp messages and that we have stored in this app. Okay? So go to the block again, and then we have to just simply write here. Uh, call whenever someone click on button 3 it means get then first we need to clear that label okay before we get the text it means remove from here and then we have to use here for each loop why we are using loop because we have storing our all values in our list so we have to call this uh, all items one by one so that's why we are using a for each loop so go to the control and you can see the for each this one okay here like this and we have to call the list so we need to call you can see tdb call get tags this one okay this one here and then now we, what we need to do we need to set all tags like set label text this one here like this okay and then we have to we have to get the uh, we have to get the all tags okay so for that we will we will use one simple join option okay to join uh, the text so click on text and you can see the join this one and in that join we will call here this previous text it means label one dot text this one and the another we will use here join and we need to move use here more string like this okay so in the another we will use simple here get tag this one okay and in the another we will use simple like this use slash and to make it another tag uh, with the new line for that okay and then we will get the value it means the we get value this one okay and from which tag this tag particular tag this one simply call it and then we, we can use one more so and to make it uh, in the new line okay so for that simple like this right this is simple okay we have to get all that data so for that whenever whenever type a notification whenever the whenever we receive the notification this is the most important part and most important things okay whenever we receive the notification in our phone it means whatsapp notification and the notification so we will set all that notification in the json okay and we will set all that thing so simple just call here set label again we have to call it set label and the value we will set as a json get json simple so whenever we get the notification so 
we will set that notification it means in this label and we are storing that value in the DV okay so it means whenever we receive the WhatsApp message this will automatically store in our app okay and then whenever someone delete uh, their message so this will not delete it from our from our uh, app because that's our own app right so that's why this will not delete it now this is the overall app it's simple and three and four five blocks code but here what you can do there you can do a lot more things okay so first thing is the problem is if I receive the another notification like related to battery notification or other notification so this app will save all notification so how we can filter it so it's very easy so how we can do that we need to use your control if else condition here so and we will call it in that here right and if if the text content it means this one if the text it means which tag tag value if the value tag is content the message related to whatsapp so what i will call here simple the piece of is whatsapp then we will store that value in our db otherwise this will not store okay it's simple right so now we have filtered the all notification it means we we, we will just save the only whatsapp notification here it means whatsapp messages and nothing okay you can do more filter you can uh, here what we are doing here we are using your uh, json okay so if you want to modify that uh, value how we can display that value so you have to modify extension so go to the extension page and uh, here and you need to you you can see here that's the uh, code java code it's simple it's not too, uh, too tough because we already have uh, learned how we can create extension it's basic so you have to modify some uh, some coding here okay so you just need to copy paste this overall code and use this the uh, extension builder copy paste that code and export that uh, extension and use it you can use your own extension so that's the overall app so thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, like this video and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.